Hey guys, it's Kristen here from Magoosh, and on this episode of Tuesday CT, we are working on a little series comparing the sections of the ACT to the sections of the new SAT. So if you're not sure which test is right for you, well, hopefully we can help you out. And today we're talking about how the ACT English section compares to the SAT writing section. They're basically the same thing, they just have different names. And now, with the new SAT, you'll find that they are the most alike. In fact, they look almost identical in terms of structure. So the ACT has always given students questions and context. So it's like a draft that you're editing, you're fixing grammar mistakes, you're switching out an idea for a more specific idea, things like that as you go through a passage. The SAT used to have isolated questions, but now they're all within the context of a passage just like the ACT. So you'll find if you're prepping for both the ACT and the SAT that the sections the English section, the ACT English section, and the SAT writing section actually look really, really similar now. They both now test both grammar errors and rhetorical skills. So the ACT always tested quite, or tested both of these topics, so a lot of grammar questions, but then also a lot of questions on the ideas and organizations and development. And the SAT used to have a few questions like that, what falls into this rhetorical skills category, but now they have a lot more. So the ACT and the new SAT have gotten even similar in that, more similar in that respect too. So as far as passage difficulty goes, well, what you're gonna find is on the ACT, the English passages are pretty easy, maybe about a ninth grade reading level. They're not incredibly complex. The SAT likes to switch up and vary the difficulty of their passages. So you're gonna find in the English section that some passages are pretty easy and straightforward, and other ones are gonna be from a text that's a bit more complex, which is going to be, which is going to make finding the grammar errors and, and fixing the rhetorical errors a little bit harder. But you'll also find some passages may be easier than the ones you normally see on the ACT. Now, the SAT, the new SAT, has includes questions on a lot of its sections on informational graphics, or actually on all of its sections, really. So on the reading section, you're going to find some graphs in integrated in the reading passage, and you're going to find that on the SAT writing section as well, too. So in a passage or in a question, you may see a data table, a chart, a graph, of some sort, you're not going to find any of that on the ACT. On the ACT, it's all about just the text, just the writing. But a question on the SAT might ask you, for example, to find a dis or fix a discrepancy between statistical data that's in the table and what's in the passage, or to switch a description in the passage to something more specific based on the data that's in that table, for example. So you're going to have to be working a little bit with informational graphics on the SAT English section as well, actually the SAT writing section, ACT's English. And then finally, time per question. So on the ACT you have 75 questions, it's a lot of questions to do in 45 minutes. On the SAT you have 44 questions to do in 35 minutes. So as is pretty typical with the ACT, it means you need to be working at a bit of a quicker pace. On the ACT you're going to have about 36 sec seconds for each question, which I know doesn't sound like a lot. The SAT is a little bit more generous. You have 48 seconds per question, and you also have fewer questions to do on their respective section. So that is a little bit about how the ACT English and SAT writing sections compare. You can check out our other videos comparing the other sections if you're interested in that. And if you want to see some practice questions on both the ACT and the new SAT, you can go to www.magoosh.com. We have practice questions and lessons for both of those tests. And I will see you next Tuesday ACT for some more top ACT tips.